Major updates to SETI Astro Suite, including Cosmic Clarity integration. Welcome to SETI Astro. So make your way over to SETIastro.com. Under Astro Programs, be sure you get the latest SETI Astro Suite. It's version 1.5. Along with that, be sure you get the latest Cosmic Clarity as well. It's 5.5.1. Uh, it has native XISF support in there as well. So version 1.5 now has the XISF Liberator in it, Cosmic Clarity, and also what's in my sky. I think the one we need to spend the most time on is running Cosmic Clarity. So this is a full graphical user interface for Cosmic Clarity now. You don't have to worry about input or output folders or, or anything like that. We're gonna go ahead and load an image the image load will be off over to the right here. You can zoom in and out. And then on the left is also an auto stretch. If it's linear data, you could turn that on. It'll auto stretch it for you. Um, there's also the radios. You could do a sharpen or denoise and you could run them back to back. So we're gonna show that here in a second. You have all your various options, sharpening mode, channel separately, the non-stellar sharpening, Stellar sharpening amount, non-stellar sharpening amount. <clears throat> and importantly, the first time you run it, you're going to have to use the, the wrench to tell it where the folder is for Cosmic Clarity. And it'll give you a little update where you actually have your folder set to. And then for those that don't have GPU acceleration, running it on a large image may be very time consuming and hard to judge what you want to do for your settings so you can click select preview area that's going to open up uh, a small preview here it's a fixed size so it's just a 640 by 480 viewport and then when you click process the visible area it's only going to process what's visible here so it's only going to send that 640 by 480 sized cropped image over to cosmic clarity to sharpen or denoise so let's just go ahead and, and click process the visible area. On a Windows machine, it'll open up another terminal here so you could see the preview. And there, so now it, it did its sharpening and you could see if you, you want at that level of sharpening. I will say this preview area is at 100% resolution as well. You could always click undo if you want to adjust the settings. And then over here, you can go ahead and play with the sliders to, to adjust your settings. And then when you have it the way you like it, you can go ahead and close this preview area and then execute it on the whole image. And it'll load it back in. You can zoom in if you want. And then there's also a before and after, so you can click back to the original and after. So before, and after and also from here you could jump straight into denoising so just click denoise and execute and now it's sharpened and denoised so we can go back to the original and then the sharpened and denoised and from here now now you can just save the image click save image you can go ahead and Save it wherever you want. And you're done. No need to go in those input or output folders or nothing. And you could run sharpen and then follow it straight up with denoise. XISF Liberator is just our normal XISF Liberator. If you have an XISF file you want to view or convert, Go ahead and just open it up. It has the auto stretch feature still. You could zoom in, you could see the metadata off to the off to the right, and then like I said, specifically you can save as these other various formats. The other item I've added is what's in my sky. So in this one you add your latitude, longitude, your date you want to observe something the time at which it will transit highest in the sky for you so let's say you 
want your transit time for your object to be 10 p.m. Uh, and then here's all the various catalogs you could search in. I'm just going to do the Messier. Fair warning, if you have them all clicked, it's going to take a while because there's over like 36,000 celestial objects that it's going to calculate. Uh, but go ahead, click calculate. It'll tell you what the lunar phase is going to be. And then down here in the tree box, it has the objects, how many minutes before or after transit has happened. And then where in the sky it is, how far away from the moon it is, different names for it, its size, magnitude. And if you double click on any of these, it should pull up uh, Astrobin with the, the name of that object. So you can quickly just hop over to Astrobin and see what others have imaged for it. I do think having a full user interface for Cosmic Clarity now is going to be a big win for a lot of people that were struggling where to save it in those input output folders and in all that so it's it's all handled in here no need to go into any of those folders it'll it'll even delete the files when it's done with it so you're not going to be building up files in those folders in the background either for you linux users out there instead of just uh double clicking the program and running it that way i do recommend running it in a terminal the reason being is those other terminals that open in Windows to show you the progress for Cosmic Clarity and a few other things, uh, they don't open in Linux like that. So the only way to, to do it is really just open it in the terminal. You will get some deprecated warnings. Don't, don't worry about those. It has nothing to do actually with, with this. But now you can go ahead and run your Cosmic Clarity. And since my Linux uh, virtual machine is only running on two cores, I'm going to click select preview area and just process the visible area here. And now in your terminal, you'll be able to see that it's actually calling Cosmic Clarity to run and you'll get all your updates within your terminal dialog here. And then similarly on the Mac, be sure you use the wrench icon again for the, the very first time. And for the Mac, it will open with the terminal. So you should just be able to double click and uh, launch it from the icon and the terminal window should open up for you. Well, I think these are some very important updates to SETI Astro Suite, Suite as we continue to build it out and make it better. I have also heard that uh, there's the developers working in Cyril trying to incorporate external programs within the, the upcoming versions of Cyril, and they're specifically using my Cosmic Clarity as a test bed to, to try to get that fully integrated within Cyril. So great news on the Cyril front as well as a community we're trying to really release the shackles on all this great architecture out there to let everybody utilize it. Please comment, like, and subscribe.